We tried to check in our Airbnb. The trouble began. There were no towels, no toilet paper, no nothing, no nothing to cook with. So even our instant food, we couldn't uh, heat because there was nothing to heat water with. There was a pigeon living in the AC. Long story short, right in that moment when he needed it the most, our internet of our Omani phone number died. Welcome to our last day in Oman before we go to India. We are going to the Suk, which is the traditional market, and it opens at 4, and then maybe go to the mosque. Yes. Let's go. My comfort zone. Creamy and dreamy. Yeah, I just oh, love Starbucks. I'm sorry. Here we are. Look at this. My green happiness. So we're killing some time now, over three hours until the soup opens. Of course we know, Starbucks. People tell me ridiculous to go something you already know from home if you're traveling. But you know, if you already tried the most authentic foods in the country, then it's really nice to switch it up and get comfort food from home. That's why we love Starbucks. There's always Wi-Fi, there's always good coffee, and there are always snacks that I really love. You want to show what you bought yourself? I want to see it. Let the audience see it. You know, these little ornaments. I think it's supposed to be an ornament, but I think for European it's just a basic espresso mug. <laughs> we got the fort, this is where we've been yesterday, some masks, turtles. We didn't see turtles, but we slept at the location of the turtle. We had the sand dunes. Are they sand dunes? Very nice. Okay, let's enjoy our drinks and get productive, huh? Okay guys, just want to give you an update why at Litzwa we suddenly disappeared. <laughs> so we enjoyed the port, we enjoyed the market, it was lovely and then we tried to check in our Airbnb. Long story short, right in that moment when we needed it the most, our internet of our Omani phone number died. Then we were searching for one hour in malls for Wi-Fi until we found very slow Wi-Fi and resolved the case with the host and Airbnb. Booked in Really nice Ibis hotel here in Muscat and drove the whole night. Props to Sasha, you're an amazing driver. I couldn't do it. I was just trying to stay awake while he was driving and staying awake. Honey, I love you. You're the best. There he is. Not listening, so I can tell you whatever I want. <laughs> you did great. Thank you so much for bringing us safe and sound to Muscat, to a really nice hotel. And then we just collapsed. So Sasha is already doing the next rough cut for the next video. You can't see anything. Ooh. These birds just dropped something. We have a pizza. There is no pizza, honey. We are all for comfort food today. I don't know. If something goes wrong, you tend to the next day is compensate with nice hotels and food. At least that's how we do it. We also try to get better at that. It's it solves it solves the problem, but it doesn't solve the budget situation. So. Okay, so in Oman, budget tip: what we did, we have our bowls from Sea to Summit and the you know the coffee stuff. We linked it already in a newsletter if you if you don't know what we're talking about um, budget utensils we're gonna link them under this video really helpful for everybody who wants to stay on a budget with food in countries where it's not super cheap so that's what we did basically with instant soup and ramen and whatever there is that you can cook in a bowl but sometimes once in a while you really need some real food there's a Lebanese village breakfast is this a Lebanese place yeah because it looks really nice ah. Mm. Hummus? Ah, wow. wow. Okay, from confused to wow. <laughs> Man, we need to go to Lebanon. We picked the right restaurant. So this is definitely the best hummus we had in Oman and Emirates combined. Last time we had this good hummus was in the Israeli restaurant in, in Tel Aviv. This is good hummus. Mm. Suddenly this turned into a feast, huh? <laughs> All of the snack. All of that food, 15 bucks for money prices, pretty good. Ooh. Making our way now to the Airbnb, checking in. Finally Wi-Fi! Yes. We didn't have Wi-Fi oh, yeah. for the last <laughs> days and it's... It's impossible. Let's go to the Airbnb. Mach ordentlich, wir müssen es loswerden. 
brauchst ein bisschen Liebe, ne? Oh, Gottchen. So, I guess we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors. Who's gonna sleep there? And who's gonna sleep there? Short break here, huh? Drink something. And then check out the mosque, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Sasha, where are we going? To the souk, to the famous souk of Moscat. What happened with the mosque? The mosque is closed today for the non-believers, which we are. So you were right? Yes, I know. Mark that in your calendar. Finally, we found a parking spot and if you ask me, this is a real good view. There are the boats, there's a harbor, fortress. Let's check out the souk, huh? will we? Very nice. Yes. Are you ready for our last adventure in Oman, in Muscat? Yes, absolutely. Huh? The souk. Let's go. We found the first kitty! Yeah. Thank you! It's delicious! If you want to help us feed more kitties, we're gonna put a special PayPal donation link down in the description. We will use the money only for feeding cats and dogs. Huh? How mm -hmm. does that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. So, go donate and we will feed cool. the kitty and, and the, the dogs. dogs. Celebrity, huh? You know what I feel like? Huh? That stuff is happening that prepares us for India. I mean, this is nice. Taking pictures with locals. I like if that. If it happens a hundred times a day, let's see how Sasha reacts then. <laughs> Finally, we're doing something in Muscat. We are at the Souk, at least one thing. I'm very happy. And it's super cool because today is the busiest day of the week for the market. Friday is kind of the day when everybody goes out and about. Perfect experience, so let's go in before it closes and we miss it again. <laughs> <laughs> Some? You got some money for that? I think this is the biggest collection of jewelry, 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 jewelry and gold that I've ever seen. And uh -huh. also like so extraordinary. Right. And the shops are packed. In every shop there's someone buying something. Right. I would buy it too. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
So we just bought Sata. We found it first in Jordan. It's basically thyme, oregano and sesame seeds. Take olive oil, put this in it and then you dip your bread into the olive oil and then into the Sata and it's just delicious and you need nothing more. You're welcome. Try it out. You know what it is? It's like salt. <laughs> Crystal meth, no. Oh! 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 Chuck meth with a soman, green coffee, rose tea, zafran tea, cinnamon tea, slimming tea, green tea, zafran tea, mixed spices. Everything, yeah. Date, soman, mixed spices. What is this? Candy? This is kimon with chocolate. Look like drug. Funny. Look like drug. Funny. Chocolate. Mmm. Those damn, yeah, it's good. You make it look like a rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> empty. Next, happy kitty. Yeah, but now we can't make kitties happy anymore. It's empty now. Right. So make sure to donate so we can buy more. Yes. We've been so fascinated with the market that I think we missed the sunset, huh? <laughs> We're going through shady alleyways, but actually I feel safe. So that's, that's good. I'd say this counts as a sunset. This sounds counts as sunset. Can't believe that tomorrow we that will be time. already in India. I don't know, we are going to so many countries I never thought I'd visit, even though they were on my list or not on my list and this is so crazy. Mm. And it's our halfway milestone, huh? To 100 countries. Oh yeah, 50 countries. To be fair, as a European, you kind of have a home advantage, you know. But you still need to travel, so... Yeah, that's right. Our buddy Allah is also back. <laughs> yeah, probably we're not gonna hear that often in India. I don't know, sometimes like here, the prayer, call for prayer sounds. You're during the sunset on a bay in Oman and you know tomorrow you will be in India and seeing New Delhi and doing the holy in India and like just thinking about this makes me so grateful and like so happy that we're doing this uh, oh. don't cry <laughs> I always try to not, not okay. cry I don't like to cry on camera oh, but this is happy tears okay yeah this is for sure it is yeah yeah leaving the Middle East huh We've been here for a month. It will be quite a change, I think. Yeah, it was a great time. Yes. Really great time. Nice people everywhere. Good food. Wonderful experiences and memories. Yeah. So we also learned the old musket is even further down the road. Mm -hmm. Right, five, five kilometers from here. Yeah, so maybe we make it there before it's dark. So we have seen it, the old musket part. And then we go back to the Airbnb. Right. Catch early sleep. And then and we'll get up walk. at four? Five. Five, five. five. fine. You think? think? We the plane spend goes maximum at... maximum amount of time in the lounge because we learned <laughs> on Priority Pass that the lounge in Muscat, they have a gaming area, there is incredible food and you can have complimentary bedrooms. All right. And hotel okay. rooms. Full-size hotel rooms. For free. Yeah. I want to try that. Let's do that. So next video, full tour of the Muscat Airport VIP lounge. Yeah. The travel day would be, will be great. Welcome to Old Muscat. We made it. It's beautiful. We're gonna check it out. Let's go. So I think we found the National Palace. That nice looking building behind me. Then there's a crazy amount of birds in that tree and people are constantly filming it, trying to catch the birds on, on, on camera. And third, it's so nice and warm outside. I love this weather. I could stay here forever. <laughs> Instead of enjoying the view, you're discussing how this gate was built. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Because it's very beautiful. <laughs> yes. Fingers really gold. Why not? I I guess so. have gold here.
So that's been it from us for today. We strolled around Muscat. It's very beautiful. This government quarter here, I'd call it. It's it's very nice, mm -hmm. right? Also, the souk was nice. And next time, I'm gonna see the Grand Mosque in New Muscat. Yeah. I'm happy we made it because we lost the first day. I think I mentioned it already because of the late flight. And I'm happy that we finally made it here and saw it. Since we're super exhausted and tomorrow is going to be a very long travel day into our 50th country, India, we are heading home, packing up our stuff and going to bed. So Even thanks for watching. Mm. Big kissy from the Germans. See you in the next one. <laughs>